Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Your discretion is advised. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuess. So we're doing all the world's borders, but only kinda. Uh, it's a map by Yojifi, Yojif, I know, I fuck it up every time. I don't know where the border is, unless it's this road right here, uh, which would be amazing. That dude has Brazil, Brazilian flag on his fucking shirt, so I think that's a good place to start. I'm not saying that we're in Brazil, um, but we gotta forget about these places, Venezuela, uh, Suriname, French Guiana, and Guyana. We can think of Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay. I don't even know if Paraguay has street view. Uruguay and Argentina. So there's, there's literally, we could be anywhere. Um, we don't even know if we're in Brazil. We're going off the man's fucking shirt. We got to find where the actual border is. I'm thinking we're close. We've got to be close by. Um, it's just a matter of if we're going the right direction. This is north. If we, we could be coming into Brazil. And we're pretty limited on where we can and can't drive. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a clear-cut border. Maybe, maybe I don't know if that's what we should expect. Uh, that is the Argentina flag? No? I don't know what flag that is. But it's not Argentina. I don't think it's Uruguay. I think we probably, it's not Colombia and it's not Peru, all right? Bolivia, I'm not too sure. Paraguay, not too sure. Uruguay, not too sure. I think our best bet would probably be Paraguay or Uruguay. Here's the thing. This is a lot of the Amazon uh, rainforest and I don't think there's gonna be too many roads. Uh, let alone cities connecting the two. All right, that's that's number one. Number two, that flag is very similar to Argentina. So I'm thinking it's probably gonna be, obviously Bolivia borders Argentina, but I'm thinking maybe around here. Uh, and there are some places that we could guess. Now, we only have 20 seconds. I doubt we're gonna find anything that really sells it to us in those 20 seconds which will give us enough reason to move it. So we're, we're going off of basically a fucking guess. Uh, De Riviera, it's, yeah, we're done for. Overall, definitely interesting. Yes, all right. So our thought process worked. Uh, we went with Paraguay and it ends up being Uruguay, whatever. You know, they're pretty much the same anyway. Oh, and there's a place actually called Riviera, which would make sense if I knew that. But did we actually see the border? I don't think we did. It's going to be the same thing here. Uh, this feels like we're probably on an island nation. I just want to throw it out here. We're probably at this border somewhere. It just makes sense to me. Uh, it's where I would normally guess. And that's as far as we can go this way. So we have to turn around. Let's see. Let's see if we can't find anything that really sells it to us. A flag, a website, somebody screaming at us. It looks like we are on the right... Lagos? No, what does that say? Yeah, that says Lagos, doesn't it? That would be over here in Nigeria. So are we on the border of... Cameroon? No, we were probably on, on the border of Benin. Because that, that looks like it says Lagos, right? Am I just going fucking crazy? I'm trying, like, I'm trying to think if I could see anything else, but L-A-G-O-S. That's, I mean, this, this might be an R. This might be an O. Looks pretty fucking close to Lagos. Uh, which means we'd probably be down here or up here because that doesn't go over over here maybe there's a few places at borders but with Lagos you want to be as close to Lagos as possible so we got two roads we got one by the coast 
I don't see any water. So we move our location. That's, I think, probably going to be the best hint we get. Uh, we could try and find something else. That kind of looks German. I, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting Africa. Uh, okay, Easter progress. We're not going to be able to get too much information off of this sign. The church, the undivided church. There's there's usually a location. All right, there's usually a location. I'm not just looking at it to fucking look at it. I guess it makes a little bit of sense. I don't see any water, so it definitely feels like we made the right choice in moving our location. Uh, especially since that road made it seem like we were like right on the fucking coast. But. We're not finding anything. We're kind of stuck in the middle of nowhere. Well, we'd well, be stuck in the middle with you, but... <laughs> Got it. Got it, coach! Still have it in me. Alright. Got a lot of gas stations, though. Fuck. Yeah, I think, I think we have a good spot. There's only... It looked like four roads in and out. And I don't know if that's significant. We got one, two, three, and then four... I mean, this does go, but it, like, stops right here. Oh, uh, and we're out of time. And it ends up being not a major road. We would have gotten more points if we left the guess where we originally left it. Wow. Alright. Really? I get it. There's a road here. There's a road here. How did you get that, that road correctly? I figured there was road number one, road number two. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I may be colorblind because I didn't even notice half of these places. Oh, man. No, we could have we had that. We, we found the Lagos. At least we know for a fact it said Lagos. I'm proud of that one. Oh, God. We had one of those. Uh, definitely feels like we're in a mountain, obviously. Duh. Uh, maybe the border with Laos and Thailand. That's going to piss me off. Uh, we don't really find anything else. It kind of reminds me of Hebrew, but I know that's not Hebrew. Right? That's definitely out here. Maybe over here. We're in the mountains. I don't know too much else about this place. Uh, we could try and find a flag. That's probably going to be our best bet. Oh, God. What the fuck, man? Can't you just get this shit in order? And this is official. This is official. What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? We have a name of a town. I don't even want to look at it. I feel like the flag, which I think this is a flag, is our best hint. Please unfurl. Is it a flag? It is, and it's the red, white, blue, white, red, which is on the Laos side. So now we know Laos border on Thailand has coverage. I don't believe the Vietnam side does. I don't believe the Cambodia side does. And uh, China definitely doesn't because China doesn't have any coverage whatsoever. So we're looking for somewhere along the border of Laos and Thailand. As our best bet, I'm not saying it's impossible that's going to be other places. I'm just saying our best chance of getting a correct guess is probably over here. Now, I know their capital has street coverage as well as a few places down here. Uh, but if we're looking for border crossings, do we cross over a river? Return start. Opposite way. She'll be coming around the mountain when she can... All right, no, nothing. Uh, no official checkpoints. Obviously, a lot of uh, countries don't like their border crossings to be posted, uh, just in case people want to find a way to try to sneak in. I don't even know if that's a real thing, to be honest. Uh, I feel like this is the official card, the, the official line. Is there anything anywhere? Uh, this probably. So this is probably where the border is. Uh, I don't see a source of water. We're in the mountains. That changes that. So we're not over here. And that's where that border goes. Does this whole thing... This whole thing's a fucking river. Except over here. 
maybe. You know what's gonna be great? When we end up right here. Just right here. And you guys can be like, wow, man. Wow. Alright, now. We would have had more points if we went right there. Um Was I thinking of the wrong I was thinking of the wrong flag. It's one of those days, alright? My brain's hurting. Uh it was the border between Thailand and Myanmar, uh, which I don't believe I street view. And we're in the middle, the middle of fucking nowhere. So where we started. So I guess they do have it. Look at this. It goes out. And then in. Really? There's one house right here. There's a few actually. They're like split in half because they couldn't decide. Who deserves it? Alright, we're fucking up. We got a yield sign without the word yield in it. That's not very uh, American. We have the border right here. Uh, we're not finding shit. Ooh, baby. Alright. Here's the thing. Where, where do you think the border is going to be? Can we find the sign? We already have a flag. Alright, that's a good start. Ooh, is this going to help us? Kind of looks Russian, doesn't it? Obviously, it's Russian translation. And then, not Russian translation. Uh, so, somewhere along this border, we have Murmansk. And it looks like it's going to be on the Finnish side. So, on the Finnish side... First, E105. E That's probably going to be our best bet. Is to find E105 somewhere along this border. Fucking hope we find it, man. Oh, God damn it. We're not going to find it. Alright, we're going to have to just pick a random place. We're going to have to hope for fucking luck. 866. Damn it, man. Damn it all fucking hell. E105. See, in the United States, the, the E in front of it would just mean East. It wouldn't mean anything important. It would just be East 105. That's all it would be. It wouldn't be anything special or significant. E75. Alright, that's our best fucking clue so far. Uh, can we find any... Okay, so E's are showing up at this distance. E8. Oh, fuck me. Why does it have to be this? Why now? I only have like two lessons of Russian in me. Alright? It's not enough. I barely know the fucking alphabet. Damn, we're only finding really a few E's. Uh. Ooh, could it be the Norwegian? Oh, yeah. Alright. I knew it wasn't the Finnish flag. So here's the E105. I guess we're here. Right? Does E105 cross anywhere else? It better fucking not. I knew we were by Russia, alright? That's, I guess, the important part. I knew the flag wasn't the Finnish flag. It reminded me a little bit of the Denmark flag, if I'm being completely honest. I think we're right here, actually. Uh, return to start. We're on 86. Just a little bit. 886. I think we're right here. Alright. 5 meters. 5.4 yards. Pretty good guess, obviously. Our first place uh, was like one one meter away if anything um, I didn't even I don't even remember that Norway talks to Russia not talks to Russia but they connect and that's I completely forgot about that and then we come up to our last and final location and it's a gas station with Bolivia welcome to Bolivia with Brazil right here Brazil Bolivia all right all right, where are we? We're going into Bolivia. Uh, we need to find the amount of roads there are. There's probably a lot. Oh God, this isn't a gas station. So we're on Brazil, Brazilian side. There's Bolivia. We are literally right there. People just walking over like nothing. Um. That probably has some interesting information on it. 
until we find anything else. Something federal. So this is the federal thing. You, you're usually not that close. So we know we're, we're in Brazil going to Bolivia. All right. There's, there's a few roads. I don't want to even look at the white ones. We got this one, which we're going to mark just for right now. Up top. They don't cross right there. Or right there. There's like two. Two roads. That stops at the river. I'm checking, man. I'm checking. There's a convenience store across the river. I think those are the two the two best choices. Because everything else is river. And it doesn't look like they're creating bridges to go across. Oh, God. There's so much more. Uh, is that a tunnel? That might be a tunnel over all right, let's just pretend maybe three. Is there even a bridge over here? There, yeah, there's a bridge. It's not one of these. All right, it looks like we just go in and then we're out. Uh, so I'm thinking one or two. Can we find a road number that tells us exactly where we are? Hopefully. Um, especially if we're leaving Bolivia, you would want to know what the road number is. And the road number hopefully would be within the first few kilometers. Uh, Atencio, Latara. So there's this traffic circle coming up. I think that's what that means. I don't know, it's a toll. Ooh, there's names on the toll. Uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Cemetery. So that's a cemetery. Uh, and then it's fucking blurred. We're out of time. Are you fucking me? At least we were at the right one. We just were in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere. 2.2 miles off. Almost walking away with a perfect score there. That that was definitely a little bit tougher. We didn't really find anything that gave it away. Uh, if we check out the final summary, 20,000 points. Our only real fuck up, Uruguay. Instead of Par well, Paraguay, instead of Uruguay. I'm going with Laos, Thailand, instead of Thailand, Myanmar. Uh, but 20,000 points, not bad. Uh, definitely one of our better maps, I gotta say. I think it's because the clues are a little bit easier to find. Coming in first place is Affiliate at 23,868. I don't know how I came in second, to be honest. Uh, but screenshot the world, let's see. There it is. Going with the Kenya Uganda border. And then also guessing the Paraguay, it looks like. I don't know. That was just me. Alright. So just really that Africa one. And then Martin Hartso Kiristin going with the Mexico Guatemala border. Alright, and then not Nigeria, but the Ghana Ivory Coast. Um if you if you're watching this, Martin, I don't believe either of these, Ivory Coast or Ghana, have official coverage. Just keep that in mind, uh, for next time. But overall, not too bad. I don't come in second place very often. So that's that's something that I can definitely enjoy a little bit. Uh, I know you guys are going to be like, math that flag from the beginning. Why do you think it was Finland? I didn't think it was Finland, but I saw the Russian. So I was like, Norway doesn't touch Finland. Could it be an island? And then the E-105 is like, no, that's a road. We got to find it. But I don't always say what I'm thinking. But thank you all so much for being here. I do hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Have a good rest of your day. And bye-bye.